Hey everyone, I'm here at the Lowell Highlands hiking trail in western Pennsylvania. I'll be doing a two night, three day backpacking trip with my friends Rob and Jeremy. Rob and Jeremy arrived last night at Route 30 Shelter. Stayed there last night and now we met up together here at Route 271. I just arrived this morning. And uh, let me take you a tour of the Route 271 shelter area and campsite. At each shelter area, there is a pile of wood or like a pile of mud. At each shelter area, you are required to purchase a permit and you can only stay one night at each campsite. There's also a women's and a men's restroom. These are pit toilets, meaning they don't flush. Well, yeah, typical bathroom. Yep, looks like a pit toilet. And they do have a fully stocked Purell hand sanitizer to stay clean in the woods. And for the people that want to stay in shelters, they do offer 10 camping spots for a fee. It's cheaper than the shelter, but a shelter is not that expensive anyway. And there are fire wings, fire rings for it. And I'll show you what a typical shelter looks like at, on the Laurel Highlands Trail. So you have a platform, little ventilation in the back, and you also got a big fire pit or a fireplace. And here's the water pump for the shelter area. Uh, here at 271, this one's broken. They do have another water pump up at the parking lot. Behind me is the shelter where we're staying at. Let's go check that one out. At each shelter they do have eye hooks by the door so we can put up tarps. As you can see we use blue tarps and that will help with the wind because it's supposed to get mid-20s tonight and blocking that wind would be pretty nice. And here's our shelter. Uh, right here on this side is Rob. That's Jeremy's, and mine's right there, I didn't set up. And here's Jeremy and Rob. They came in last night, and yeah. you guys stayed at Route 31. No, I'm sorry, Route 30 shelter. <laughs> and we met up here at the Route 271. And this will be our first night together on this trip. And it's gonna be cold. And I think we're all gonna be cuddling next to Rob. He's very, very warm. <laughs> you have some good wood. Finally. <laughs> Something that's not soaked, but it's still frozen. It's big, but it's not too big. It's nothing you can you couldn't handle. Never mind, I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so Rob and Jeremy cut up all this wood, and they pretty much grabbed all the big logs too from that dirt pile. Yeah, While I just sat here and ate a pepperoni roll. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. <laughs> Mixed berry turnovers. Rob, what time is it? Uh, eight something. Eight fifteen, I think. Yeah, sort of late. It is, but we got the fire going, and we're about to have breakfast. I think Rob's heating already some pepperoni rolls for himself. So it's starting to get brighter in here. Uh, the sun's already up. Obviously, you know, Rob's up, Jeremy's up. I'm still at sleepy. So we're all packed up and we're getting ready to leave. Everything's cleared up here. We're all, all our bags are packed. Last thing to do is put out the fire. I'm just leaving now, uh, starting our hike. Going to Route 56 Shelter, eight miles, Rob? Yeah, eight miles. Eight miles. What time do you think we're getting to camp? I think about four, four and a half hours. So do you have a time? Rob says three o'clock. Yeah, I say two for me. But... Two? <laughs> for me. Oh, for you. Yeah, for you. <laughs> I said it'll be about four and a half hours from now. It's uh, 10 08 right now. We'll be there by three. I say 345. <laughs> so we're about to hit mile marker 57. Uh, 
for today we're just going to a little past mile marker 64 and then the shelter will be right there last night it got down to the mid 20s yeah it's cold it's definitely cold uh, the good thing is that we did keep the fireplace pretty stoked throughout the night just kept on adding piece of wood when we went to go to, when we went to use the restroom but definitely was cold when you got out of the shelter yep made it to mile marker 57 the trail is blazed in yellow yellow so at least as long as you can keep an eye out on the yellow blazes at least you can kind of figure out which way to go but right now you can kind of see the trail anyway even though it is covered by snow uh, it looks like a few other people have already been on the trail since the last snowfall and essentially we're just following their tracks so Jeremy's up front then you got Rob and then I'm in in last the caboose Jeremy's been going at a pretty good pace which is pretty awesome I think we're gonna get there earlier than my 345 predicted time we're going at this rate. Mile marker 58. Six more to go. Put my blaze orange on because of this. I guess it is hunting season in Pennsylvania. Where's your uh, deer skin suit, Rob? You should be wearing that. Yeah, yeah. A little nice little white tail. Would have been nice. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you think it's like right. bow season? Yeah, yeah. West Virginia it wasn't till the end of the month. I think for Ohio it's not till the end of the month too. Or really December even. So it's probably the same thing for Pennsylvania. Yeah, I would think. Oh, we're fine then. Yeah. In fact, you probably should put on your deer skin suit on to keep yourself warm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Make sure you walk about 100 yards in front of us. <laughs> Mile 59. So we've been actually moving pretty quick on this trail. Uh, the nice thing is that because it's below freezing, every all the mud and wet sections is frozen, which kind of works out for me because these shoes are not waterproof and they're also not insulated. So uh, I'm fine with it being not wet right now. Maybe I should have wore waterproof boots, at least. Oh well, not much I can do about it now. Mile marker 60. Going pretty quick. Still, no wind is oh, I know it. No wind is pretty nice. Now that we mentioned it, there's probably going to be a lot of wind now. Nope, we're not supposed to have any wind today. <laughs> hey man, the weatherman looks so bright so far on this trip, so... Give it some on that. Mile 61. Rob's happy about that. Snow down there. Yeah, right, there is no snow down there. Yeah, yesterday warmed it up enough. Never really noticed that. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, there is snow up here. No snow down there. Yep. All right. It's warm and toasty down there. <laughs> t-shirt weather. <laughs> yeah, t-shirt weather. <laughs> Mile 62, getting closer. Mile 63, it's getting real. Wow. Mile 64. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. It, good sign, good sign. Happy Jeremy. Well, now we got another quarter to half a mile to get to the shelter. And food, water. Grab the firewood. firewood put up the tarps. Up. So we made it to the shelters. As you can see behind me, that's where they are. Uh, that one right there. 
salt of number five. I assume that's gonna be four. Looks like that one is three. So that means we're over there. Probably the furthest one. Decent wood pile right there. We got the bathrooms right here. Super close for us. We got the water pump right here. There we go. And here's our shelter. Shelter number one. What time is it? 2.18. 2.18, so Rob's the big winner. He said two o'clock. Hey, I said by three. You said three. I'm not wrong. <laughs> I said 3.45. I severely underestimated us. Most of our shelter's set up. Rob's tending the fire. He just started it. As usual, he does, he's a pro at it. Lucky. You just happen to get lucky every single time when it comes to starting fires. Yeah. <laughs> what you mean is he's a pyro and he's good at burning things. Yes. Yeah, lots of practice. <laughs> I enjoy burning things. So we got everything set up in our shelter. Um, right now, Rob's still tending to the fire. Jeremy's all set there. He's already got the sleeping bag all set. Rob's got that properly stuffed. Uh, we already got one tarp up. We're getting ready for the other one. I'm just leaving that open so we can get some light. And there is a couple over at shelter number two, which is straight ahead uh, on the other side of the women's bathroom. Uh, and pretty much, I think we are, other than them, we're the only ones here. Mm -hmm. We got fire, Rob. It's a beautiful fire. Yeah. Thanks for saving us. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for you, we were going to die tonight. Yeah. We're going to be frozen. That's a lot of wood in there. Yeah, it's pretty damn warm. It's like warmer than The thing is, all, so all of it's frozen. <laughs> it's all frozen wood. It's about 7.20. Uh, we just woke up. We're all having breakfast now. Fireplace keeping us warm. Tarps are blocking out the wind. I think about it's about a five mile hike, but it's all downhill. So it should be a fairly easy hike. Yesterday yeah. was what? 20s? Upper 20s, low 30s? Yeah. yeah, pretty much all day. Yeah, so right now is the warmest it's been at 38. So it's going to be hopefully a little bit warmer. And hopefully my feet won't be as wet. Packed up. Uh, getting ready to leave. What time is it, Rob? 8.15. I think it's a record time that we're leaving. At least with me. <laughs> I was about to say, I was earlier. <laughs> yeah. It tends to happen. You usually leave it right around 10 o'clock. Yeah, we're still 15 minutes late. <laughs> In my books, we're an hour and 45 minutes early. All right, now look at it that way. <laughs> Just packed up, getting ready to leave. We got a good hill ahead of us. Um, and then after that hill, it's all downhill. Literally downhill. Ready, Rob? Yep. All right. Lead the way, Jeremy. Oh, yeah, we're doing that. So it's about 8.20, um, you got a five mile hike, and then I think we're going to get, then it'll be food time. Right from the start, early morning, mile 65, five more to go. Just like what Jeremy said, from the campsite, we've been pretty much walking uphill, uh, probably past mile marker 65 about half a mile ago. And now we are starting our downhill uh, descent into Seaward or Johnstown. I forgot what town the terminus is. Mile marker 66. Four more to go. So Jeremy's behind me. Rob is ahead of me in that blue jacket. I think this is the furthest we've hiked away from each other. It's kind of nice for our in our own little world. Previous times we've always been like pretty close to each other, but it's kind of nice. It's even uh, it's a better view, way better view. 
Oh, you can see a train coming through. Right over there. Rob, do you know what river that is? Yakagini? Sixty-seven. We got some pretty cool rock formations here along this trail. And it does make things a little bit sketchy when everything is covered in leaves. Things get slick. Rocks are, you don't know if you're stepping on a rock or if it's a hole. I guess you just gotta go slower. Mile 68! Mile 68! Mile 68! <laughs> what are you doing, Rob? <laughs> That's beautiful! Oh, Rob, you nailed it. You still got your softball skills. <laughs> Throw out your shoulder. You want to check it out, Jeremy? This area? You can hear the power lines, that buzzing sound. What mile marker are we at, Jeremy? 69. That sun feels warm. It's nice. Pretty cool dam. Pretty cool dam. Vamanos. Vamanos. Last half mile. It really hasn't been too steep yet. No. No, it's just been gradual. Yeah. A lot of people when they through hike it, they actually start at mile 70 and hike down to mile zero just because it is easier. And then the, I believe the highest point is Seven Springs Ski Resort. It's like 33, 3400 feet for the highest point on the trail. Rob, I think we almost through hiked it in the whole entire thing in sections. Maybe next year we do it all in one shot. Maybe. I might sign up for the trail run. Really? Ugh. That actually does sound kind of fun. Yeah. Trail's it's really not that hard. No, it's pretty much what you guys are talking about doing anyway. Yeah. I mean, this trail's probably easier than it's lucky. It might be better in the summertime before the leaves come down and hide them. Yeah, like elevation rise, I'd say it's easier than Oh, yeah. I think yeah. this is. I think this is easier than Zaleski. Yeah. I see a sign. You're a sign. I saw the sign. Ace of base? No? I'll Never say mind. Like, that's stupid. You still go, your face is stupid. I don't think we have that far to go to the car. I see cars. You're a car. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is it. Southern Terminus. Mile marker 70. Yeah, and I think 69 did seem like it was a little bit longer than what it should have been. I just think you guys were just anticipating the 69. Right. And then when you walked by, when you walked by, you were disappointed. There it is. Back at the car. Officially done. High five. High five. Finished. Good day backpacking. Actually, it's a good weekend. Time? 10 15, right? 10 35. 10 35. We started at what? 8 20 ish? Yeah, something like that. Nice. Good day.